Hey folks, uh, so welcome to our hip workout today. So today we're going to be doing an AMRAP workout. So as many rounds as possible in our uh, 10 minute time block we're going to have set aside for each group of exercises. Uh, so as we're going through the workout, as always, make sure you're going at your own pace, especially with this AMRAP. You rest as you need to Okay, if you need to rest between steps, between exercises, uh, you rest as you need to okay? Make sure we're focusing on good technique. So as you're going through, really focus on dialing that technique so you can get the most out of the exercise. And then lastly, as we're going through the workout, let's just have fun, have a good time, keep your body moving, um, enjoy yourself, and get a good workout. Okay? So here we go. We'll start from getting down on the ground. I'm going to start by uh, mobilizing the hips. So I've got my left knee, that triangle is created, my right leg is pulled in behind, hands on either side of my left knee. Then nice and tall, I'm going to hinge forward, and that's why I'm going to stretch through my glute. So you can play the angle a little if you want to go towards your feet, drop into it, just find where you feel like you're getting the best stretch. Uh, but really, uh, move from the hip and don't wrap through your upper body. Good, so then we can pop up and we're going to walk the hands away from the feet. You get a nice stretch through this top, uh, top leg, the front of the hip. So I'm looking over my left shoulder, creating that great big bow through here, lengthening all this tissue, get the hips mobilized. And then we're going to get a sitting earlier today. Okay, that's great. We're going to hit the other side now. So we're going to switch, my right knee is in that triangle, my left leg is pulled in behind, hands on either side of that right knee, and then I'm going to inch forward from the hip, get that stretch through the glutes. Good, then from there we're going to pop up and walk the hands away from the feet, again looking over that right shoulder. And that's great. So from there, we're going to pop up. And we're going to start to get the upper body involved. We're going to reach back, nice stretch through the chest, and then we're going to bring the elbow towards the opposite knee. Okay, so stretch it out, and then kind of get that core engaged by connecting lower and the upper body. Okay, we'll hit the other side now. So reaching back, elbow to knee, reach. Okay. And then we're going to finish by uh, doing a lunge and getting a bit of rotation. So I'm lunging forward on my left leg, I'm going to rotate to my left, and then back to standing. Lunge, rotate to my left, back to standing. One more on this side. Back up, now we're going to hit the right side. So lunge, rotate, driving up. Up. One more. All right, so warmed up, uh, ready to go. Uh, so our first group of exercises, we're going to have a single leg deadlift. Uh, we'll do a bent over Y raise, so focusing on the uh, upper back muscles. Uh, we'll do a Bulgarian split squat. So if you have a step, um, a little rise or something you can elevate your back foot with, we will need that for the Bulgarian split squat. If you don't have it, no problem, you just do a normal, regular split squat. Uh, what we find in the Bulgaria is it's too challenging. Um, we just do that regular split squat, so one leg forward. Uh, then we'll do our hand release push ups, and then we'll finish the group uh, with a forward lunge. So just step forward uh, and drive it back up to that standing position. Um, yeah. So those are our exercises. So get ready. Uh, you can grab again that step in the knee for the risers. I'm just going to get our time uh, kind of started here, and then we'll get going. So our first one's going to be a single leg deadlift. So we're doing that deadlift or hip hinge action uh, on one leg. Okay. So get set, and here we go. So 
I'm going to start on my left leg, and I'm just going to hinge. My right leg is going to reach back uh, as my torso goes forward. So again, we're working a lot of balance here. Um, we'll five reps. And we're also working back and leg. Okay, so done that. So bent over wide base. So we're going to hinge forward, hands are hanging in front, and then we're going to bring up that wide kind of position. Okay, so we're going to feel the upper back engage when I do that. The muscles in between the shoulder blades get activated as we pull up like that. Uh, so next is going to be the Bulgarian split squat. So I'm going to elevate my right leg, and then my left leg is going to be working here. So I'm going to lower down. And I'm going to get that little stretch through the back leg uh, as I drop down into that. Five reps of everything. Five, ten. Uh, hand release push ups are going to be down on the mat. We're going to take our uh, hands fully off the ground when we get to the bottom. Okay, so one, hands come off. Two, okay, so we're going to have that nice full range. If you need to modify it, you can do that off the knees if you need to. So you can do that modified uh, push up. And then the last one's going to be the forward lunge. So just step it forward and then back up to standing. Okay? So the front leg's nice and flat, the knees tracking uh, straight in alignment with the uh, toes, not falling in or anything like that. And there we go. So one round done. Uh, on to the second. So single leg deadlift, and I'm on my uh, right leg here. Again, make sure that leg back. The uh, counter balance. Everybody, you go as low as is comfortable for you. Just make sure your back stays pretty flat. You want to uh, move from the hip, not from the low back. Uh, so bend over wire raises, you're going to hinge forward. Okay, uh, Bulgarian split squat, so now I'm on my right leg, my left leg is elevated. Reps, good. Down into our hands with these push ups. Core is nice and tight, move it one piece when you're doing these push ups. And then we do our forward lunge again. So right leg this time. Nice flat foot, nice control. Okay, back into our single leg deadlift. We're great. Reaching that foot back, nice hinge, right? Focus on the balance, focus on the control. Okay, uh, in the bent over wire raises. Again, the hinge, nice keep to the spine. Awesome. Uh, Bulgarian split squat, so I'm on the left leg this time to do the work, right leg's elevated. Again, if you need to, you just do a regular split squat, you don't need the elevation uh, if that's what's right for you. This one just stretches out the hip more, maybe it makes that front leg work a tiny bit more. Okay, now we're going to do our these push ups. Core is tight. Alright. And back into our forward lunge, just so step forward, land on that left foot, drive back. Okay, we're going to do our hand release push-ups now. 
So again, if you need to uh, switch to the modified option, it's not a problem. Uh, forward line tap. Step forward, drive up to that front. Good, go back into our single leg again. That should do great. We're in the last little bit here. Let's see what we can still get uh, out of it. Good work, everyone. Good work. 
Okay, so we can take a little breather, get a drink if you need. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, we got about another minute. Catch our breath. And then we'll get into our group two exercises. So group two exercises. So we're just going to do a dead end. So both legs, but we're still hinging. Keeping that neutral spine as we go forward, focusing on the back of the legs. Uh, then we'll do plank up, down. So up on the hands, down on the forearm, back up on the hands. Okay, so work at the core. A little bit of the body involved there as well. Uh, then we'll do our lateral lunges. So you can either, either do them stationary. So I'm staying in this position, but I'm going to one side. Or you can do a more dynamic, stepping out, and then back in. So whatever is appropriate for you. Um, then we'll do glute bridge. We'll be down on the ground, extending the hips up. And then we'll finish with a bent over, um, lat pull down. Okay? So be in that bent over position like we were for our Y raise. But we'll just be focusing on driving the elbows down in the side, feeling the shoulder blades squeeze down together, and feeling the lats contract a little bit at the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to get one more drink and then we'll get started on group two. Okay. And we're starting with the deadlifts, okay? So here we go. So get in your deadlift position. So I'll show you from the side. We're just hinging, okay? Keep that neutral spine. And then you go as low as is comfortable for you to keep that neutral spine. Okay, we don't want the back around. Um, second exercise is our plank up downs. Okay, so we start our hands, core tight. So one, two, four, and five. Okay, so that up and down. Up, uh, down is one, up is two, okay, to five. Uh, so lateral lunge, so I'm going to do it dynamically. So I'm stepping out, and I extend this leg stays straight, and then I'm driving back to the middle. Okay, so this foot's nice and flat. Uh, as I land on it. Four. Okay, so glute bridge, I'm going to be down on the mat, on the back. Feet are flat, and push the feet in the ground, squeeze the glutes, okay? So getting the hamstrings, getting the glutes involved, my core stays tight. Okay, and then, uh, sorry, uh, lap, bent over, lap, pull down, snap. So I'm going to hinge forward, hands are up. Feel that squeeze, two, create that tension in the back, three, four, and five. Good, so from there I go back into the bed. Okay, so feet are a bit apart. One, two, and five. Good. Uh, plank up downs. We're working that core again, so here. Uh, lateral lunge. So I'm going to the right now with my lateral lunge. Drive. You get that stretch through the groin on the on the other side. Okay, and then we're back down on the mat for our glute bridge. Bent over lap, pull down is next. Okay, here we go. Alright, back into our deadlift. Awesome. Uh, plank up downs are next. Into our lateral lunge, so we're going to the left side now. So land on that left and drive back up to the middle. Okay, our glute bridge back down on our mat. Good work, everyone. 
that can bend over lateral down to your next one. Hinge, pull, feel the flat squeeze, feel the shoulder blade to pull down and together. All right, back to your deadlift. Here we go, hinge. Very beautiful from the hips. Keep that back nice and neutral. Uh, plank up downs, so we're back on the mat. We're going to the right side now. Lateral left, let's try it. Awesome. Uh, so, Blue Bridges, we're back down onto the mat. Okay. And then we're back into the bend over lateral down. So we have hinge, pull, five. Doing great. Keep pushing. We do a quick check for us. Uh, five minutes. We have five minutes like we're halfway, folks. So we do our deadlift again. Into our plank up downs. Keep the back over tight and we're moving through this one, okay? Do our bottom lunges. Go to the left. And five, awesome. Uh, Blue Bridge, go back down on the mat. And then into the uh, bent over the lap, pull down. Okay, so hinge, nice neutral spine. Little short bit, pull down together, feel the lats engaging. Okay, back into our deadlift. Do it good, folks. Right, feel it, build up again. Alright, so we're working on that good hinge pattern. That's that bend pattern to pick things up. Uh, we're back down into our plank up downs now. Core is tight. Alright, so our lateral. Uh, Lateral lunge, stepping in to the side, and moving right now. Uh, Blue Bridges are back down on the mat. Focus on the back of the legs again here. Back into our deadlift. 
You want to plank up down. Like usually on the last group or last set of the exercise, I always uh, have it down pat at that time. Anyway, do our lateral lunges. One to the right. Good work, good work. Focus on that form. Finish with that good form. So we're down on the ground. Bridge. So we're up and then we're going to put bent over. Uh, left to the right. And then we're going to do our deadlift again. So back to the start. Deadlift. Do our plank up down, so we're back to work again. We have the bottom ball as well. Okay, into our lateral lunges, so stepping out to the left. And time, folks, that's good, 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 good work, good work. Oh, group two done. All right, grab a drink, grab a breather. And then we'll just go through our cool down. Okay, stretching it out, bringing the heart rate back down, cooling our bodies down a bit. So, first one, we're going to find something stable to hold on to. Uh, I'm going to grab on the wall, grab my foot, pull my heel towards my bum, push the hip forward, I stretch through the front of the hip, the quad, hip flexor, breathe in long, go into it. Okay, we'll hit the other side. So we're grabbing on, getting that support, pushing the hip forward. Excellent. Okay, and then we're gonna do a chest stretch. So the hands are gonna go on the wall or a door frame, whatever it may be, and then we're just gonna turn away from that hand. My left hand up, I'm gonna turn to my right, and I'm doing that stretch. All through the front, uh, like your left chest, left shoulder, bicep. And I'm staying tall and breathing through that. Great, we're going to hit the right side. So the right knee goes on the wall, and now I'm turning away from that. Nice big deep breaths during this, really cooling ourselves down. Excellent. So now we're just going to stretch out the back side of the body. So we're going to tall, we're going to reach up, we're going to hinge forward from the hips, we're reaching down as low as we can, and then walk it back up. Reach. Reach. One more. Reach it up. And that's it. So awesome, great work. Uh, thanks for joining us today for our hip workout. You did an amazing job getting through that. Um, have a great rest of your day, and uh, hopefully we see you back again soon.